What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Matrix21, back with a new episode of Fresh Kicks, where we go over upcoming sneakers, and I give you all the release information and stuff like that. Because after that, I just know about the sneaker. But before we get into it, make sure to like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell as well, so you never miss a video. Check out my Twitter slash X page at Matrix21, and my Etsy shop at TD Made. Both links are down below in the description. But enough of that. Let's go. Let's get to the kicks. So today, we'll be taking a look at something different, the Puma Suede and the Pumpkin Pie Colorway. Halloween's coming up, so hey, I guess Puma had to do it. So we start things off with breakdown. We break down overall look of the sneaker, give you colors used, materials, stuff like that. So let's get right into it. So here we have the pumpkin pie colorway for the old school Puma suede. These are okay. I mean, nothing crazy about it. It's a regular Puma suede. It's a very casual shoe. Nothing crazy about it. Nothing out of the ordinary with it. Nothing super dope about it. But let's just look at the colors. It has some pretty simple colors. Pumpkin pie pumpkin pie and amber and really that's all for the uppers we do have white as well for the outsole but pumpkin pie and amber are the colors that have been used here so just basically uh orange and a kind of darker purple i mean darker orange yellow sorry <laughs> but here it is here's how it looks like i said you have those the orange up up top you have that white midsole or outsole nothing crazy about it just pretty simple pretty straightforward pumpkin pie is orange pumpkin's orange so it is what it is comes with two color laces you have the kind of yellowish amber lace as well as the orange lace and uh, like i said most of the uppers are that orange that pumpkin pie and then you have the puma logo and the puma swoosh thing which are that amber colorway here's a top down look at the sneaker looks like some pretty decent suede on it i mean it's called the puma suede so it should have suede here's a look at the tongue with that green on the, the puma logo to give like that pumpkin stem and then on the insole you have more of that orange as well or that pumpkin pie colorway uh pretty simple pretty straightforward like i said it is what it is it's not trying to be something it's not supposed to be and like i said the suede on it looks pretty nice i don't know if it's going to have the kind of back and forth motion that you get but uh it does look pretty nice and rugged on especially with the, the logo the swoosh thing right there but it looks nice also the puma logo on the back with that kind of amber colorway also is white and <laughs> which is pretty simple i like the way they did that i think if this was a nike they would have made it like you know some kind of off-white muslin or something like that it wouldn't have been straight white so let's take a closer look at the the sneaker more mostly the materials like i said have that kind of a shaggy suede as well as a kind of smoother suede and i like the, the contrast of that it looks really nice and once again like i said you have the green for the stem it looks really nice it adds a little bit of extra to it <laughs> So now let's move on to the price and release information. So when will these be releasing? How much will they be? And where can I find them? The three questions we always get asked. And we have October 1st, 2023. Price tag is only 75 bucks. Should be able to find these at Puma stores and Puma.com. Like I said, it's a Puma suede. It's not an expensive shoe. 75 bucks is all you need. And October 1st, 2023. So you'll be able to get these well in time for Halloween. If you need an orange sneaker for Halloween, who knows? But you should be able to have, to have these way before that. This is a fall sneaker, so you should have them plenty of time for fall. And like I said, October 1st is the date. So let's move on to long-term value. Eh, we know this is not gonna have much. So will this Puma suede and the pumpkin pie colorway have any kind of long-term value? Uh, we all pretty much know what this is no it's not going to have much long-term value it is what it is it's a sneaker that you get you buy you wear this is going to go for retail i don't i don't expect it to go much more than retail maybe 80 bucks or it's going to go below it's never going to go up too much and it may end up going on sale eventually that's a sneaker that you get if you want a sneaker for fall or for just uh halloween or something like that nothing you want to get and hold on to for sales and stuff like that and speaking of that let's move on to rock or stock Similar to the long-term value question, uh, is this a rock or stock or pass? Obviously, it's pretty easy with this one. It's definitely not a rock. It's, def it's definitely a rock. I'm sorry. Definitely not a pass. Definitely not a stock. I don't think this is going to gain value. I think it's just something you buy, you wear. You probably won't wear it much, many, you know, too often because of the color, how vibrant and out of out of yeah, how it is. So, like I said, it's probably more of a summer to fall sneaker. Probably won't wear it any other time of the year. Probably won't wear it other than Halloween. But like I said, it's a pretty simple sneaker, 75 bucks, something you can buy, beat up, wear, and not think about it. Uh, so now let's move on to the recap and final grade. So once again, these are set to release on October 1st, 2023. Price tag is only 75 bucks, which is a 
damn good price for a sneaker. Uh, we'll be able to find these at Puma stores and Puma.com. I'm not sure if these are family size. I'm pretty sure they probably are. But like I said, it's a Puma sneaker. Nothing crazy. Nice materials. And it's pretty simple. Pretty straightforward. Nothing too crazy about it. Nothing out of the ordinary. Just a nice Puma suede. I give these a 6 out of 10. It's a pass for me in particular just because I don't really like that kind of the way the ember and the pumpkin pie look together. It kind of throws it off to me. I don't like that kind of dark yellow. And it doesn't work for me particularly well. But I did give it a 6 out of 10 not too bad so well, let me know what you think about these will you pick these up will you pass on these let me know in the comments that's all i have for you on this one make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell as well so you never miss a video this is your boy matrix 21 peace talk to y'all later bye